Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. Welcome back to another episode of Tourist Bus Simulator. I know it's been a while, but as you can see, I had something really exciting to try out. As promised, new content, new Tourist Bus video. I will try and get back into Tourist Bus Simulator. Uh, we have been off of it for a while, so I think it's probably best that, uh, that we get back on. But yeah, we have a new bus. So we have uh, what... Um, uh, TML Studios, Tourist Bus Simulator, whatever you want to call it, uh, politely recall the, the uh, W906. Um, for those that know their buses, it's a Mercedes Sprinter. Um, so it has just been released. We are recording this a couple of days after uh, it has been released. So uh, you should see this a couple of days after this. Um, but yeah, a new bus um, is paid. Um, currently, it's about £6 in the UK. Um, not sure what that is in euros or dollars for those playing uh, in other uh, continents um, but yeah whole new bus six pounds isn't too bad i think for a bus bear in mind some of the uh, uh the content that they've uh, they've put up in terms of the cost of buses and stuff so um so yeah a little bit of a explanation list. so yeah it's based on a mercedes sprinter uh, minibus um according to their technical page and we all like technical pages and uh, facts and figures. Um, so it has uh, 19 seats in total, very luxurious as far as I understand. Um, it has the ability to drive up to 155 kilometers an hour, which is quite fast. Um, anyone that's caught uh, any of my videos will know uh, that we don't base speed limits. So we'll try and uh, we'll try it out for top speed when we get a little bit further down today's route. Um, it has five-speed automatic transmission gearbox um, as well as a detailed and interactive cockpit with various camera perspectives and interactive functions so that's driver monitor and navigation with reversing camera definitely need the reversing camera uh, wipers and door controls retarder with cruise control uh, functional driver's window with sunblind aircon Wi-Fi radio with driver's lights and a lot more so apparently there's a complete interior and exterior lighting situation as well as well as self-created community paint jobs as you can see we have uh, our uh, traditional uh, alum travel um, uh, colors on already uh, yeah took a little bit of uh, of getting used to but uh, but yeah we're there so couldn't have anything on this side because the door's in the way so um, but other than that yeah usual bits and pieces it's got its own normal number plate but yeah, pretty good. So let's have a quick look on the inside. Uh, I'm conscious that we've got a job to do today. So nice wide glass door entry. And although I believe it's not um, set up, you can have wheelchair access because there's spaces for it there. Um, yeah, so not particularly luxurious inside. Um, looks like a typical... And it's... Can I? No. Okay, so I seem to have stopped at the step. No, can't get up it. Oh, there we go. Uh, so yeah. Uh, push the stop button so public transporty more than anything else but yeah apart from that I don't know if it's got a sign I don't know where the sign is oh it's in there in the top alright so let's hop in because we do have a route to do today so let's have a look at the route that we've got for ourselves today so we have the Hotel Costa Karma uh, Player de Cofti um, so yeah down if I bring up the map let's bring up the map there we go so we are starting off here in Costa Karma at the Hotel Costa Karma aptly name uh, quick trip on the dual carriageway motorway what you call it run out of dual carriageway there so get onto normal roads uh, and then yeah we're up here into Kofti uh, that's uh, that's how you pronounce it at the uh, Playa de Kofti which is a beach and a restaurant so yeah Obviously, we've got a bit of a drive down there, so um, so yeah, let's see how this one does. So let's start her up. Yeah, sounds like a typical Mercedes Sprinter uh, bus. Let's. Don't know how the aircon works. I haven't even tried any of this yet. So let's see. So let's put the lights on. Put the lights. We mess around with the lights. There we go. Why don't we go to auto? Okay, so we'll just go all on. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, how do you set this aircon? Oh, okay, so it's manual air condition. Oh no, maybe not. Uh, I can't seem to see what you set that to. Alright, so this doesn't seem to explain a lot, but it's there. Let's turn the 
Wi-Fi on. Is that on? Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, signs on. Lights are on. Wi-Fi's on. Interior lights on. Yep, yeah, good. Door. Yep, yeah, door closed. Apparently, we can play an announcement. I'm not sure what that is. Sunblind. Oh yeah, sunblind. Have a front sunblind. There we go. And windows. Tachograph. And not sure what this is at the bottom here. Manual air conditioning. Oh, there we go. No, radio. Turn off. Turn it off. We don't need the radio on. All right, perfect. So, so that is everything. We can look around. Nice mirrors. Apparently, working windows. Seat belts. First aid kit. Need that. I'll definitely need the fire extinguisher. All right, perfect. So that should be everything. So let's um. Uh, where's that going? There we go. So, let's uh, head on to our first stop, see if this thing drives okay. Alright, maybe if it was... Alright, maybe a second while we'll get this working. And uh, yeah, and I'll meet you guys uh, there when uh, we're picking up our first lot of customers. Alright guys, so uh, pretty uneventful drive down, but I must admit, this... Uh, this new minibus is particularly smooth. Um, the drive down on the uh, dual carriageway was particularly uh, comfortable, um, and yeah, it didn't really seem to, uh, seem to be, cause any problems. Um, very quiet, probably a bit too quiet, but um, yeah, well, uh, I guess it is a new one, so it's going to be all right. Perfect. So let's jump on out here check these people on because yeah it looks like there's quite a few i hope we've got a big enough bus i can't remember how many people were due to uh due to get on and off here uh, right, let's have a look and see and find out uh, oh luckily only 15 that's good all right so let's check these people on um yeah you're right seems like they've got new people here as well look he's new Although he's not for us, but he is new. Uh, he's new. Not sure who he is. Alright, you're the same as before. So are you. Alright, anyway, let me um, let me check these 15 people on, uh, and I'll catch back with you guys in a second. Alright guys, so that is everybody checked on. Uh, yeah, as mentioned, we do have uh, a few new people by the looks of it. Let's just do a head count. Uh, yeah, so you'll see a few new people on here, um, and a few new voices as well, which is pretty cool. Um, there seems to be a lot of uh, a lot of updates going on. Um, I know that they've done. Let's pull out here. Yeah, I know that they've done a big uh, update. I think seven they're up to now, um, which uh, created a few uh, obviously performance upgrades, uh, which uh, which. We all knew potentially that was uh, that that was needed, uh, but the, uh, <laughs> the the probably biggest updates are as say yeah, performance enhancing. Uh, there was a, a new road, so uh, well not a new road. They've redesigned one of the existing roads. I will show you that one before we go. Um, but that is basically, I think, just to the north of um, Porto. Del Rosario, I think, if I remember rightly. I'll show you when we get there. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's that's it's it's been redesigned. It's kind of got a new flow to it. Uh, I think a new petrol station as well, if I recall rightly. Um, and uh, yeah, and a few other little uh, sort of extras that it's added in. Um, but yeah, other than that, it seems to be just sort of major, sorry not major updates, just minor tweaks, but yeah, definitely seems to be improving things, the, the uh, game seems to be running a lot smoother, uh, there's a lot less sort of stuttery and lag, are we going to beat this truck out, no, yep, okay, um, yeah, and the quality, not quality, sorry, the, the, the sort of the, the game itself seems to be so much more stable, which, which is good, um, I think as they constantly uh, update this game and constantly do sort of extra stuff to it. It, 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 it just makes it so much more playable. 
Um, for those that are just getting into the game, and I know I've had a few of you guys message me that have said that they've got into the game because of me. Um, so thanks for that. <laughs> Not sure my videos are the greatest uh, from time to time, but um, obviously you've enjoyed watching it, so uh, so you then bought the game and want to play it. So yeah, th for those of you that have done it, thank you very much. Glad you're enjoying the game, and um, if TML Studios are watching this, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll expect my check in the post. All right, so we have some rain, so let's see how these wipers work. Yeah, there we go, they are working, it's good. Clear that a little bit faster. I'm not sure what happened there, seemed to get a little bit darker, but anyway. Um, but yeah, so a lot of updates. Obviously the bus is probably one of the bigger updates um, that we've got. Um, strangely not in Fern bus. Uh, I'd say the, the bus itself has come out now for, for tourist bus, but as I say, we haven't got it for Fern bus yet. I don't know whether um, they're planning to, um, because that was one of the sort of the big things. Uh, the fact that you could run them between the two, obviously when the BB40 came out, which is definitely more of a tourist bus game bus, type of bus, um, that came out in Fern Bus as well. So uh, it's definitely, yeah, this uh, probably not suited for that game, like this one, um, but yeah, still definitely uh, one that we'll do. So let's see what we've got a bit of a straight here. So, yeah, they've updated the water effects as well, apparently. Without crashing into anything. Yeah, apparently updated the water effects, which, which yeah, definitely... Oh, oh. oh, there we go. That's why we should be watching where we're going and uh, not trying to do glamorous driving poses um, of the water effects. Um, but, yeah, definitely there's a lot better. Um, the game has improved a lot. And, uh, yeah, obviously playing this a bit more I think we need to yeah, we need to get back into tourist bus uh, some of the videos are, are you know, proving quite popular and I know a lot of you can say are enjoying them as well as I am creating them so right, cool so let's go around here and it's good to see as I say that the developer is still um, doing sort of major updates to the game still still making it um, more uh, playable and uh, and yeah as I say bit more fun. Right, let's slow down, let's make sure there's nothing coming, that pillar's in the way. Right, let's go. Oh, it's hopefully going to stop. The traffic and AI driving does also seem to have improved. If they've been watching my videos then they know that's not a bad thing. And it gives you one less thing to complain about. Which, uh, which isn't a bad thing. Say, watch back some of my videos and think I'm a real complainer time to time but it, it, it needs it. it it wasn't great they weren't great at times and they didn't really have much common sense but uh, it was definitely worth worthwhile right yeah you can see there I should just follow the car rather than try and got those cinematic kind of like views myself um, and just watch the cars that are going the other way or this way but yeah the water effect does seem a lot better. It's still not quite as misty as you'd expect if you were driving in, in, in normal. It does still create a little bit of weirdness, but it's it's better. It's it's good. Right, so I've ne I've only driven this road I think once or twice um, on the way down. Don't think. Oh yeah, I forgot this wasn't a made-up road. There we go. All right, so let's try not to bottom out. Well, if ever there was a interesting route to bring the new bus down. At the start of this route it only had something like 69, I don't know whether it's miles or kilometres, kilometres um, on the clock and now it's getting a good old workout as we go down these sort of unmade up roads to the uh, sort of, the, I don't think, I think it's not the, it's not the most subtly point, it's probably the most subtly point that we've gone yet so far. I must get my brake in right here otherwise we'd end up in the sea. Follow the car in front. Good. I'm trying to take out the cliff edge as we're going. Yep, still. Okay. To scrape. There we go. Perfect. It's an amazing amount of traffic that's down this end of the island. I guess they're all tourists. Um, but yeah, the amount of tourists that come, sorry, the amount of traffic that comes down here. Especially thinking this road, do you think they'd pave it? Well, I can imagine it's a really difficult road to try and redo if they ever redid it, because it's the only one to certain parts of the island. 
Right, so which way are we going? So we're going around to the left. Oh, it'd be the nicest day to come down to the beach for you people. Couldn't have picked a sunny one for you, could we? Right, that looks stain. Thank you very much. Right. Yeah, definitely. There's a bit of blue sky there, so maybe the weather will improve for him. This car in front seems to go really slowly. Or maybe I'm going too fast, one or other. <laughs> the accident with the wall earlier proves that maybe maybe I'm the one that's going too fast. Alright, so let's go right here. There we go. Right, so yeah, good old workout for the new bus. <laughs> Talking of buses, I don't know whether you guys have caught it. I did uh, put a link to it on my Instagram and Twitter, so if you're not following it, you probably haven't seen it. You might have seen it if you follow them. Um, but yeah, the um, another update, alpha update, came out for the bus. Um, video and content uh, looks really good. Looks uh, graphically a lot better. The shadows and stuff seemed a lot better in the video, uh, which is one thing that really stood out to me than, than they do in this. Um, but yeah, they definitely seems a lot um, more polished. Oh, okay. Um, we okay. We'll have to go back a bit. Thing. So I think that hill is just a little bit too steep for us. All right, let's go. Let's take a swing at this. There we go. That's bad. Hopefully that doesn't count as an accident. Uh, but yeah, sorry, we also yeah the, the bus. So yeah, so there was a, an alpha video that came out um, about a week ago now um, with some extra sort of scenes and stuff on it. it looked really, say, so looked really good. It was only a development. Um, showing it in the early stages but promising looks very good um, so it'd be interesting to try that when it comes out I don't think um, they've got an official release date for it yet I couldn't seem to find it anywhere other than just uh, it's not on Steam or anything for a wish list yet so it's obviously very uh, very early yet but, um, but yeah, if any of you guys know uh, the date or yeah, TML if you're watching any of these videos please let me know um, I'd uh, say really looking forward to when that comes out. Uh, I know we're very bus heavy on this uh, channel at time to time, but um, you guys seem to watch it and like it, so who am I to uh, uh, to, to deny you guys buses uh, and transport related videos uh, when you guys come keep coming back for more? Well, these roads are tight. Right, let's try not to hit into sheer rock faces. So we're not far off now. I think I probably will turn the HUD back on for when we come back. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I can't remember why I turned it off. I did something with it. But, uh, but yeah, it was, uh, obviously never turned back on as were, never were the mirrors, the virtual mirrors. So, uh, we def desperately need that. Oh, there's the car that we got stuck behind all the way up here. Right, so a bit of a tight and twisty S bendy road here coming up. So, for, uh, 40 kilometers now. Well, yeah, definitely got to be careful here. It's probably the. Uh, I think we bought the rip off Range Rover down here last time when we discovered this. So, yeah, I don't think we ever bought anything quite this big down there. But, yep, yeah, we'll squeeze it in. It's a, that's what she said joke there coming on, wasn't it? Right, so let's head down here, try to hit the van. No, missed the van. Right, so we literally are right on the beach. Right, let's let this car come up because I don't know how wide this is. Right, perfect. So, is there a turnaround? Oh, well, there's a car in our spot, so hopefully somewhere for me to turn around. Uh, maybe? Uh, do a three point turn if nothing else. Uh, reverse. How do you get reverse in this thing? There we go. Right. There's a little bit of a, a lag on that reversing camera. Right. Perfect. Right, so let's stop in the bus stop. Right, please mind your step as you get out because you are literally right on the edge. Alright, maybe we will go back a little bit. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Alright, so, 
Let's see which of these buttons opens the door. That one, there we go, perfect. And let's let these people get off and we'll see how many of those 15 accidents and one destroyed bus we get later. Right, well they're in no rush to get out, so to be fair, given the weather I probably wouldn't be either. I do like this bus, really like this bus. I think it looks, A, the, the bus itself looks really good. I think it suits this colour. Alright, anyway, see ya. So, all 15 people were transported, which is the main thing. Uh, yep, no, no, left no one behind. And, uh, it, so it counted three crashes and a service rating of 98%. I'll say that. 1066 XP and yeah so we've got a return route to do we're holding up traffic and uh, yeah let's uh, fast forward time and I'll meet you guys back here in a minute when we're ready to pick people up hopefully they're not all falling down this cliff so yeah I'll catch you guys back in a second all right guys and we're back some minutes later whilst filling in my time in between I thought oh, I'll use the new photo mode yeah, it crashed. Crashed the game. So, um, yeah, tried to replicate it as best I can. Um, managed to have the same amount of crashes, but still, it crashed. Oh God, look at the mud. Ooh, okay. All right, let's get in. I never noticed that before. Is that texture of the floor? Yeah, it's texture of the floor. That's disgusting. All right, so these people are extremely muddy. And probably very wet. So let's um, let's check these people on, and uh, yeah, we'll come back to the second. Have a look. All right, guys. So that's everybody checked on. Um, we have some weird, apart from the weird traffic, we have some weird texturing going on here. Look, bottom of the truck, uh, sorry, bus is very dirty. Um, steps also dirty, but it matches the pattern on the bottom. And this person apparently doesn't want to sit down. Don't even think she's for us, but anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's the texture in the ground coming up through the bus, or whether the bus does actually now get dirty. We'll have a look. We'll try it in a second. Are you, are you, are you, are you coming with us, love? No, you're just gonna get your phone out. Okay, all right. So, let's, as we're holding up a monumental traffic jam, let's, um, let's get going. And we'll te check a texture thing out when we let people out. Uh, and see if it's still um, still a little bit janky. Right, so taking a right at end. Right, let's try to hit anything. Try to have slightly less accidents on the way back if we can. It's weird how this little bit is paved on the way back, and then you go straight back into mud again. Yeah, there, there you go. All right. So let's see if we can negotiate this bit of road without bombing the minibus out without crashing into something. As you see the weather improved dramatically for the people that were out on the tour today. Didn't, didn't get anywhere. So apologies for that. You've uh, all had a horrible day. Uh, what's the time? 10 past, five, uh, 10 past 3, sorry, in the game. So yeah, pretty much there. All right, we're going to follow the slowest person. Doing 25 kilometers an hour in a 40 kilometer an hour zone. So this could add severe amounts of time on to our, uh, our journey back because there's no way we're going to get past this person. So we could try and try and so how much power this thing's got. We've got enough to overtake, do you reckon? Yeah, that do. There we go. I'll let, and just like that, it seems to have stopped raining. Right, so let's try not to disappear off the edge. I don't know whether or not you can actually fly off the edge of this road and take everyone with you but we're not going to try that today right perfect so so yeah apart from that weird crash um, that happened as we were uh, well, even the sun's come out uh, yeah that weird crash that happened as we were uh, trying to take a photo it's the first one I've had on this game in a long time so uh, I don't know whether I was trying to ask uh, the quality to be too high or whether my computer's doing about 15 other different things at the same time and just couldn't quite work it we did come up with a crash log, so I've logged it, so the developers can uh, have a go at it and see what uh, what else it did. Right, so let's go a bit slow around this corner. So 
Yeah, there's, there's another road off there. That's the road I think goes down. Yeah, that's the road that goes off down to the um, lighthouse. So nothing down there. I don't think. I don't think we ever get a job down there. I don't think there's a sightseeing tour or anything down there. Right, where am I going? Where's the road going there? Nearly went off into the bushes there for a minute when I'm not paying attention to where I'm driving. Right, so let's go around. Yeah, good. That car's waited for me. So yeah, on the whole, I think between the new bus and the new update, the game's uh, greatly improved. I think it's, uh, it's definitely a lot more stable. Seems to be a lot less stuttery. There's a lot, you know, a lot less. Um, and uh, the new bus, yeah, definitely worth it. I think it's. Uh, Let's say for six quid for a for a new bus, um, I definitely think it's it's worth a go if you enjoy this game. And uh, you know, you, I know you get the old free one. You got the BB40 as a free bus, but you know, sometimes you do have to pay for stuff. I know that. Do you know I sound tight at times when I say that I don't want to pay for stuff and don't want to buy stuff or wait for it to be in the Steam sale. But uh, every now and then, I think yeah, you do have to support the uh, the developers and. Uh, and, and buy some stuff but um, yeah def definitely worth it definitely worth trying if you haven't already as I say yeah have a have a, a, a go at this one I think they say it's, it's a great little bus as I say this is exactly what this, uh, this this bus is suitable for for doing you know like tours sightseeing tours but also sort of airport runs and stuff like that so I think probably what we'll do well, thank you for letting me wait um, I think the next route we'll do in this, probably in another video, we'll, uh, we'll try on an airport run. Um, I don't know if it's got luggage capacity. Um, we'll have to have a look and see if it's got some luggage doors um, that can open so that we can put people's personal belongings in. But it's, uh, it's definitely good. But yeah, so definitely, definitely the bus you would see, the kind of bus you would see if you were um, on the island and uh, and taking sort of sightseeing tours and, and, and sort of you know going back and forth to the airport I know you have a lot of big coaches and stuff but the little hopper buses uh, like this um, are, are, I say are really suited to this, to this particular game right so we've got see Jag more cars coming up I'm not gonna okay so it's perfectly dry yet there's still splashes okay maybe that's a um, yeah little bug there shall we say uh, Cars have got water splashes, so maybe it's just a bit of a wet road. Who knows? But yeah, it's uh, yeah, we'll just call it a little little quirk because there's definitely no rain, and and just like that, they've gone. Oh, maybe it was just a bit of wet road. Right, so let's go. Those cars. Right, perfect. So they're obviously waiting for us to go, and now we're back on tarmac. There we go. Perfect, so let's uh, get a bit of a move on. 60 zone here so we can stretch this, uh, stretch the legs on this one. Right, if these cars in front of the side to go. Right, so let's try and not to hit this car. Let's do a bit of a lame maneuver there, there we go. Perfect, so yeah, so once we've completed this job, as mentioned, I will take you guys up and show you the new, well not the new road, the rerouted road. Obviously there was the new road at Esquinizo, which they put in, which was a bit more... Hey! That car just turned into me. That's not right. Just when I was talking about the AI driving being better, he then goes and crashes into the side of me. I'm definitely in the right lane. Definitely in the right lane at that junction, so he crashed into me. Um, but yeah, so that was, we are massively speeding, there you go, it's bad. Uh, but yeah, so we'll, um, we'll show you the new rerouted road with petrol station, I don't know if this thing needs fuel, but we can top it up, it's got a full tank nearly, so probably don't need to top this up, but we'll take a trip up to that bit of the road, just so you can see how it, it was, and, uh, and, and what they've redesigned it to. Put a foot down. We've got 110 kilometers now that we can do up here, so we're doing 76, 78, 79. I was actually pulling uphill, which is more than to be said for the um, little BB40 did when we were coming up here, or pretty much any of the coaches that we drive. So, yeah, at least it's got a little bit of uh, push to it. Uh, maybe not so much at the top. All right, cool. Whoa. Okay, that was a yeah. Just seemed to go really light there. 
can't imagine we took off, put it that way. Right, so it says 110 down here. Let's go, see how fast we can get it. 110, 11, 120. Right, got a bit of a S bend coming up here, so we might run out of steam. 130, 135, 140. That's, no, no. Oh, missed the wall. I think we're going to run out of road here. 100 and... Yeah. I think we'll top out 135 there, so... Alright, not totally accurate. Um, and not proper, but, you know, we needed to, uh, to see how much legs this thing's got. And yeah, actually, it's got quite a lot. So, it's pretty good. I think that's... Uh, in terms of driving ability, <laughs> probably um, one of the, the sort of the better ones that they've um, they've done in terms of minibuses, obviously versus the BB40. And to be fair, yeah, say even compared to some of the coaches, like the you know the Intercity and the, and the other ones like that, it's yeah, it's it's a good bus. I'm really enjoying this bus. It's say it's uh, sorry minibus, sorry not bus, minibus. Um, yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely a lot better. Right, so we're almost here at our final stop in Costa Cama. I think, as I say, general, um, sort of, I suppose if you wanted to sum this up, probably still a few bits that need to be done um, in terms of the game. Obviously, the fact that it crashed was not ideal, but, um, and yeah, as I say, this, the coach does seem to be handling wise. You know, it's good. I think it's all right. I say it does have its moments of of, of, of sort of um, handling, but then that that's you know that's probably like the the thing in real life. I must admit, I've never driven a minibus, coach, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it probably does have massive amounts of um, of understeer. So um, yeah, it might just be that. <laughs> it's my driving, um, and that uh, my driving is poor, which is which is highly likely. It's highly likely. Um, uh, I must admit, I'm not uh, professing to be the best of anything in this game, um, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's good. I, I think yeah, say solid bus, definitely worth the six pounds um, that, that it's on offer at the moment. Also, that's on sale for at the moment. Um, and as for this game, yeah, definitely. Let's say a few more episodes coming up. I think with this one, we'll do a few more shuttle jobs and um, sightseeing or whatever with it. So what if we can do with it? And, uh, and yeah, I definitely think it's a it's a, it's a good bus and, and uh, definitely uh, one for the collection if you're still considering um, what to buy. All right, perfect. So let's open the doors, let these people out. Hopefully, we did all right on the route back didn't end up crashing into everything although I know we potentially hit a wall and maybe a couple of cars but we'll, we'll, we'll see <laughs> last few people off yeah last few people off some weird texture with that door hmm strange uh what we missed a passenger how did we miss a passenger what we didn't miss a passenger we checked everyone in all right anyway who did we miss there was nobody else there when we left. All right, we'll go back and check. But well, I'll rewatch this and <laughs> see what happened. But I'm pretty sure that I got everybody, and uh, apparently I didn't. So yeah, so guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed our trip back to Tourist Bus Simulator. Uh, if you have, please hit the like button. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, click the bell notification so you can be updated uh, when uh, new episodes come out. Uh, we are aiming for the 100 subscriber mark, um, hopefully by uh, by sort of the next month or two. So uh, yeah, if you haven't already, please click um, and uh, click the bell notification. But yeah, as always guys, if there's any comments, questions, queries or suggestions, please put those in the comments section down below. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Take care. Bye.